The funniest, well, step on my balls. Yeah, somebody request for their balls to be stepped on. A lot of people think I'm a cop. <laughs> I always scare everybody off. <laughs> Who knows? One day I might be. Welcome to Street Voices. Subscribe and like. Aren't you afraid of catching diseases? Yes, but everything is safe. Condoms, you get tested regularly. You don't do anything that would cause or, you know, give you an STD. No kissing, no body fluids. I mean, the best way is to stay abstinent, but there, that's all you could do. Would, do you, would you recommend this to uh, to young girls trying to, like, that don't have a good job, but they want to do this? No, I wouldn't recommend this, but it's up to you. It's your life, whatever you want to do. I don't judge. I, I used to judge these girls, and I was like, what the heck? Like, girls do it for free. Why not get paid and do it? Or, in general, paid for your time. Anything. Men pay for anything. So, it could just be sitting in a car talking, go out to eat with them. They're going to pay for you, rather than... You get your time wasted by somebody you know, somebody at school, somebody at work. Maybe you just get paid for it. There are a lot of people, judge, sex workers, escorts, hookers, prostitutes, or even just girl, sugar babies, anything. But there are still the same people that look into it and think about doing it. And then men who think about it, there are also the same men that go and, you know, pay for the services. Do you do you use drugs at all? No, I am clean, no drugs, no alcohol. I'm just me, myself. A lot of people are, are going to judge, but you got to be open-minded to this type of work. Sex workers have been here forever. This is the first job for everybody. This will forever be here for now on. It was back in the days, now it's still going to be here. 50 years later from now so um, it's your life what you want to do I don't think it's a bad thing you sh you're still getting paid for it um, as long as you're safe there's men out here who have kinks and fetishes anything like oh can you uh, can I like rub on your toes can I suck your toes can you step on my nuts <laughs> any stuff like that and there are men out here that pay for stuff like that they don't and you necessarily, you don't even have to have sex with them. You could, they just want those kinks and fetishes, whatever they ask for. Sometimes they just want to come and talk to you in your room and vent. And some people, a lot of people who do come, they're like married, they're going through a divorce. They're just very stressed. And I believe that's why they come out. They pick up these girls just to relieve their stress and just somebody to talk to. What is what's the what's the funniest story or request that had that you have gotten? Mm, let's see. The funniest, well, step on my balls. <laughs> yeah, somebody request for their balls to be stepped on, and yeah. Like how? Like was it? Like did you really like step on his nuts? Hell yeah, like step on them, like stand on them, stand uh, on my nuts. But, but did it, like what was his reaction? Didn't it hurt? Uh, I guess it didn't. I guess it did hurt him. I think pain excited made him excited. Like that's what turned him on. Pain. He was. That was his kink. And and you didn't. Um. You didn't have sex with him. You just stepped yep, on his nuts. Just stepped on his nuts. How much did he pay you for that? Five hundred dollars. It's just step on his nut. Mm. Wow. Would you rather do that than have sex? Yeah. Anything without just not having sex. A lot of people who do. The sex, like, come by and like, hey, you want to have sex, how much? A lot of them, you, if your prices aren't right, they're going to leave no matter what, so. Right, right. Okay. Um, what do you what do you think about uh, these girls with pimps? Like, have you had a pimp? Have you thought about getting a pimp? Or you just don't want anything to do no, with it? No, uh, I can't judge them. That's up to them. Uh, that's their life, not my life. I've never had a pimp. It's just me, myself, and I. Um, like I said, those are... Their, that's their life. That's not my business. Everybody's business is their business. Um, like I said, I'm very open-minded. I don't judge. It could be anything. and I won't judge. I just listen. I can't say nothing. Do you, um, have you got any of these girls out here that got, got an aggressive with you on the, on the blade? 
No. Um, there are girls out here that will uh, be rude to you. A little, you know, snobby here or there. But I haven't um, encountered any girls that were rude to me, mean to me, or anything. But I do get a lot of, hey, why are you out here? What are you doing? Um, you look so young. Or, like, you don't look like you're, you know, working this profession. Are you a cop? A lot of people think I'm a cop. <laughs> I always scare everybody off. <laughs> Who knows? One day I might be. For um, my rates. So, uh, 15 minutes, I do 150. For uh, 30 minutes, I did 320. Well, not 30 minutes. That's like an hour. But for 30 minutes, I'll do about 200 to something. And then an hour anywhere from 320 to $400 or more. Just depending where I'm at or what I'm doing. Like if I'm here or out of, you know, state. Um, usually I hear it's cheaper. But online booking is way different. In call, out call. In call, which is you come to me, um, four hundred dollars for an hour. Out call, it costs more. I charge five fifty to six hundred dollars for an hour. People think they're yeah, crackheads out here. Yeah. They're not. And like, they'll, like especially a lot of guys will be talking shit. But they're still coming by to say hello, trying to get some service. Exactly. Well, for the past two days, the first time out here, I didn't wear seatbelt because, uh, you know. And I would roll the windows down just in case. I don't know. Maybe I need to hop out the window. I don't care. Is there anything that you wouldn't do for the money, sex-wise? Um, oral. I don't do oral. I don't give oral. I don't receive oral. I don't. Uh, and I guess you're saying like I wouldn't I do for money. Correct. And uh, no barebacks. So. <laughs> Okay, so you're safe. No girlfriend who's married, so I don't kiss, I don't like me. Okay. Um, you have to pay to hold my hand if you wanted to hold my hand. You have to pay to touch my feet if you wanted to touch my feet and hair or anything. You gotta pay for them feet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, everything costs and time is money. You can stay here and talk to me 10 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna start charging you because you're, you're, now you're just wasting my time. <laughs> so, yes. The popular question Are we having sex after this? No, we are not. I'll I get a lot of guys out. like that. I love you so much. I want to make you my wife. Here and then, like, I uh, had a date. He took me to a five-star restaurant. Uh, and, like, we didn't have sex. He was just, he was like, I'll be honest. I just don't want to go to dinner alone. And my wife is leaving me. And all this extra stuff. And I was like, oh, well, cheers to that. Here, I don't know, like, what else I could say. But, yeah. So, so you're not, you're not trying to find a man to take care of you right mm. i i believe in equal like sex so i'm not trying to find a man to take care of me but i mean i'm open to it when i can get that myself what can you provide for me mentally it's not physically it's mentally have you ever voted have i you... vote i vote i'm a normal person i vote i do I get my vaccines, I, like I said, my, I have a normal life. party, at birthday parties, I sit back, chill, relax, I cry, I eat, I, I, I'm normal, I have a normal life. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Mm -hmm. um, can you give us uh, your email one more time if anybody wants to contact you? LoserLuna819 at gmail.com. Loser, spoke like loser, Luna, L-U-N-A, 819 at gmail.com. Welcome to Street Voices. Subscribe and like at the bottom. Bye bye.